I'm thrilled to be presenting Marcel Duchamp's Bois en Valise box in a suitcase and demonstrating how the object is unpacked as this portable museum, as Duchamp described it, is not only my favorite object in the BMA's collection, but Duchamp is my favorite artist in art history. Although I have worked in the museum field for over 15 years, seeing the Bois en Valise always gives me goosebumps and great pleasure, whether it's seeing it on view at other museums or most specifically, actually handling it here. Just being in its mere presence is such an honor and a pinch me moment, which just might make Duchamp cringe himself. What appeals to me about Duchamp is that he was a trained and accomplished painter, coming up from a family of artists and having studied at the Academy Julien in Paris, just like Charles Walther and Leon Kroll after him, both of whom I've featured in previous blogs but also that Duchamp was completely ahead of his time in such an intellectual, an enigma really, perhaps always challenging and looking for the new. Duchamp's first assisted ready-made was constructed in 1913, his bicycle wheel, and although Duchamp thought his ready-mades, or his assisted ready-mades, were to defy the notion that art should be beautiful, I cannot help but think he chose and selected beautifully designed, everyday, ordinary objects that were appealing to the eye. We have such influential European masters, such as Cezanne, who was a post-impressionist painter, Matisse is linked to the Fauves, and Picasso, the Cubists. However, Duchamp isn't really labeled with any one group or style of artist, but rather he's associated with many, Cubism, Dadaism, Surrealism, and even the Fluxus movement. But it was Duchamp's ability to pose the famed question, what is art? along with his belief that by choosing an object and signing it made the work art in and of itself. It's these two contributions that changed the discourse of art history and that have made Duchamp the most influential artist of the 20th century. Bois en Valise is a compilation of reproductions of some of Duchamp's most beloved and significant works of art. He began making photographic copies and little handmade models of three-dimensional works for the Valise between 1935 and 1940 completely blurring the lines between art and reproduction. But is it really reproduction when it's made by his own hand or under his supervision? Each portable museum would contain 68 reproductions in miniature and the earlier versions housed in a small leather briefcase. The BMA's copy is from 1958 and housed in a linen lined box. Between 1941 and 1968, Duchamp produced just over 300 valises with the help of assistants, including Joseph Cornell, who would later become known for his box assemblages, influenced, of course, by Duchamp and the Surrealists. Here, we will see Duchamp's reproduction of his masterpiece, The Bride Strip Bear of Her Bachelor's Even, known as The Large Glass, a work he constructed from 1915 to 1923 as well as his quote-unquote failed Cubist painting, New Descending a Staircase No. 2 from 1912, and his famed fountain, a ready-made from 1917. There are reproductions in hand-touched watercolors, including the 1917 ready-made bottle rack, and have as phonetically titled, El H. O. O. Cou, conceived in 1919. It was thought these Bois en Valise were his real last artistic efforts, as he had stopped producing art around 1943 for his love of chess until his death in 1968 when it was revealed he had been working on the Etonne Donné for at least 20 years. It was intended to be and is installed at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Whenever I visit the PMA, I never can go without seeing the Duchamp galleries. This complicated artist just enthralls me.